I, I'd like you to briefly summarize a story that opens your book that everyone needs to, to hear because it does speak to conciseness and creativity and communication. Tell me about the greatest billboard ever. So we, were, we uh, had bought this billboard uh, on the 101 freeway here in, uh, in Silicon Valley. And uh, we weren't sure what we were going to put on it. We hired one of those ad firms to come up and, you know, do a bunch of, they, they talked to a bunch of customers, they talked to a bunch of employees, and they came and they pitched us a bunch of ideas. And they were just horrible. So we had this billboard that was about to go up and the firm is saying, you know, you got to send us the artwork today, you know, because we're supposed to, you know, glue it up next week. What do you want us to say? And so we're sitting in this conference room and we're, what are we going to say? And this idea had just been rattling around in the back of my head for a while. And it was this, based on those TV commercials that you see for, you know, pharmaceuticals that say, you know, ask your doctor if regurgitin is right for you. And, you know, I always had in the back of my head, like, I feel like business people, like they should be asking their developers. In fact, many of the developers know about Twilio, maybe are even using Twilio in the companies, yet the executives don't know about us because, you know, they're not exactly our target audience, but we want them to be. And so the idea in the back of my head was, ask your developer if Twilio is right for you, right? And ask your developer if Twilio might help you achieve your goals of engaging with your customers, yada, yada, yada. And so I just blurted it out. How about ask your developer? And, you know, it kind of worked on two levels. You know, one was a, a nod to the developers. Mm -hmm. so you're in the know. You know how to build great stuff. You know the tools and the infrastructure and the companies that you need in order to, to build amazing things. But it was also a message to the executives. Hey, you know, you should go consult your developers. You should talk to them more. You should bring them into business problem solving. And so there were a lot of things that were relayed very subtly with just three words, ask your developer. And of course, it creates a little intrigue. Like, why did a company take out a billboard just to say those three words? And that caused people to- Three words. Uh, three words three on word. a billboard. Ask your developer. You know, and, uh, you know, uh, Andy Raskin, by the way, wrote a blog post saying that this was like the best billboard ever and likened it to the, um, the Hemingway story where, uh, you know, can you write a novel in six words? And, and, and I think it was, you know, for sale, baby shoes never worn. And I'm not sure, you know, Hemingway would, would agree that, you know, ask your developer has taken the mantle here. But, um, you know, it's sort of like akin to that. How can you say as much with as little? Um, and in some ways, leave the, the, the reader wanting to know more. And maybe we did that. I think this probably other people would say, like, why did you check out a, a billboard and not tell me what you do? But, you know, in some ways, it's more memorable to leave a little bit of intrigue so that people might follow up later and say, hey, you know, I was driving in today and I saw this billboard. It said Twilio. Oh, what's that all about? And if they ask their developer that, you know, a, a great conversation may ensue.